is Carol Mock. She wears about a negative 10. This is Bruce Mock. Before he had his LASIK, he wore about a negative 14. I would be their daughter, Amy. Uh, I wear a negative 11. I have worn glasses since first grade. In fact, you know everybody has that awkward phase in middle school? This was mine. I know, it's a bit like uh, the, the uh, illegitimate children of Sally Jesse Raphael and Joey Ramone. Um, and so, this should come as no surprise to you that I have wanted LASIK for some time. Uh, it just hasn't happened yet uh, for monetary reasons. Uh, so, LASIK. Let's talk about LASIK. Um, what would LASIK mean to me? Um, well, A, I would be able to leave the house and not have to always have, always make sure that I've got my glasses with me. Because at some time during the night, I'm either going to have to come home early or change into my glasses. I could walk around in the rain without doing this. Uh, I could do yard work in sunglasses like a real person and not in my glasses squinting and, and having the sun pierce my brain. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? I could work out without having five pounds of glass on my face going like this as I try to walk on the treadmill, sliding, sliding down. Um, there would be no more of that thing where you sit down to watch TV and you spend 10 minutes doing this. <sighs> like, trying to get whatever little greasy spot is on there off. Um, I would be able to kiss a boy and look him in the eyes when he's out here, instead of just sort of staring somewhere in the general vicinity of his face while he looks at me and wonders why I'm staring at him blankly like something out of Night of the Living Dead. I could actually look at him like I'm looking at you right now. Um, so yeah, it would be a huge, huge help. Um, in fact, I've, I've, I've wanted LASIK for so long that I considered going out on 2nd Avenue and prompting strangers to try on my glasses and then trying to panhandle them to make money for LASIK. Um, but I'm not, if I, if I thought that would work, I would have done it a year ago, but probably not. Probably someone would just run off with my glasses and then I'd just be standing there like this. Anyway. So, uh, I'm sending out my, my, my plea to the people, the good people of the internet, um, to lend your support. And I'm sending out my plea to the good people of Loden and saying, you know, I know you do good work and I would totally trust my graphic designing eyeballs to you. Um, let me be your portfolio piece. <laughs> let me write love-laden blogs about you. Let me tell everybody on Twitter how much I love you, and I totally, totally would love you and tell everyone all about it. Um, let me do this. As, and, and in fact, as I was, as I was thinking about um, what I would, a way to show you how much I want this, um, I thought, well, there's that, there's that old phrase about like, oh, I, was, I would stand on my head and eat a bug. Well, uh, until I realized that I don't know how to stand on my head. Um, but I do know how to eat a bug. Or, I mean, well, I know how to eat. I've never actually eaten a bug. Um, so, and so, and so, I went out and took a look around looking for some bugs, and what I found 
were these. I mean, it's not technically a bug, it's more like a bug rind. It's sort of a rind of a cicada. Anyway, I got five of them. And I've also got some, some barbecue sauce here because I'm not a savage. There's nothing in the rules about no barbecue sauce. Um, and so, okay, I'm not going to look at that. And so, in lieu of standing on my head and eating a bug, I'm just going to eat this bug. Um, but I'm dipping it in this barbecue sauce. All right, y'all. To LASIK. And now, I'm going to eat your second bug. I mean, really, if I had access to a Madagascar hissing cockroach, I would totally do that. But I just kind of had to use what I found on the porch. Third bug. Fourth bug. You know, it gets easier as you go. And our last little friend, cicada number five. Cicada rind number five. So, good people of Loden, good people of the internet, I'm Amy, and I eat bugs for you. Hook a sister up, please.